Alrighty. Uh, let's go head to Jetta. Uh, I should probably fast travel to the Mantis. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Oh, uh, let's go to Pyloons first, actually. I want to see if I can get some bounty hunters. Because I want to see if beating uh, the Ravis and, and all, or not Ravis, Dagon, uh, opened up any more bounties. Uh, and I can also exchange some data disks, which would be nice. New characters or conversations are now available at Pylon Saloon. Okay, perfect. Let's return some of that music that we have. Uh, actually, I think we can probably go buy some new music, clean up, uh, what's her name's shop? The Raider sent packing, by moons, full of fresh patronage? Barkeep, you're a clear-minded droid. Maybe this will last. Nothing lasts forever, Big Wheel. That goes for the good and the bad. Then I suppose I'll hold out hope for Turgle's extradition. <laughs> That's a twisted sense of humor you've got, but I don't like it. A sense of humor is just like a business enterprise. It has to adapt to its environment. Congratulations on your successes against the Raiders. Thanks. Almost makes it seem worth sticking around. Why so positive, Moran? I thought you were desperate to get off this rock. Desperate as a Sakai and card sharp in debt with the huts. But it's hardly sporting to walk away from the game when the wind's at your back. Yeah, I hope so. If Koba's future is brighter than its past, then I suppose I won't mind seeing how it all turns out. Talk later, hmm? I like that Monk calls him Big Wheel. I just, I like that nickname. That's like a fun nickname. Kettle says, my day's been good. How's yours? Uh, mine was busy. <laughs> Can't believe the Raiders took a hit like that. Feels like I can finally take a breath. Well, they aren't gone yet. But they are on the back foot. You can't have a cult of personality without a figurehead. Listen, hollow books are full of tyrants that spread from system to system like wildfire. Two fewer tyrants for the galaxy to worry about now. Empire's still out there. Huh, easy. One wildfire at a time. <laughs> so Coruscant turned out to be a creative dead end, huh? Exactly. Life's too big to waste on something that isn't working out. You understand? Yeah, I gotcha. So you took off? Mm-hmm. Abandoned my label, my penthouse, the promise of fame, all of it. Where'd you go? Left my agents a note and hopped on the next transport to Kuat. An industrial world. Just like your home world, right? Yep. New and familiar, all at the same time. DD, throw me that sample again. That's kind of cool. He arrives cloaked in death. It is so, yes. I took someone's life, if that's what you mean. The Raider leader is not of whom I speak. Death is merely a transition of forms. All must die. That is the nature of our journeys. But death is not always what we know. Throughout our lives, we must let the old shell fall behind. Wonder who she was talking about if she said cloaked in death. Kestis putting the kibosh on the Raider? Look at you! I doubt they're gone. Just a little bruised. Still, I'm impressed. Without a leader, they're gonna lose a lot of oomph. Yeah? There's an open spot at the top of the Raider ladder. Are you interested? No thanks. <laughs> the heat. But you're right. If I had to guess, something big and mean is going to swallow up those raiders. Don't like the sound of that. I didn't think you would. Listen up, pal. Stealth and Duke and his flyboys were spotted buzzing above the Kobo Observatory. They're going to rain all sorts of blasts of fire and grenades on your parade, so keep your wits about you. We'll take him down. Now you're starting to sound like a real pro, Cal. This is the most fun I've had since landing on this rock. All right. You got uh... the stuff. I all right, we gotta go talk to Z and exchange some data disks. Cal, I heard you stop the raiders. Well, you're not the only one with amazing news. Oh yeah. Brace yourself. I found a shell. Well, look at you. A shell. That's great. The symmetry, 
the hand feel? The way it stays cool in the Kobo heat. It all keeps me calm. Really happy for you, Turtle. <laughs> Just don't tell anyone else. Don't want them to get jealous. That's a good point. I'll keep it to myself. Promise. What a day. You saved the outpost. I found a shell. Things are looking up. What a simple little guy. <laughs> Lucky, he has a he's got a great life uh, ahead of him. Got his little shell. Got every, everything's looking uh, everything's looking great for Turgle. Everything's coming up for Turgle. This is so like frou frou. Look at this. <laughs> I do like that. Just want to put something else on for Cal. There we go. This might be a good one. It's a good look. All right, let's go talk to Z real quick. Because I want to uh, exchange some more data disks. Cal, you missed a right squall around here. Where have you been? Here and there. Well, you're here now. Did you hear about Turgle's shell? Actually, yeah. <laughs> I did hear that one. What a sight, eh? Can't hardly believe the little bloke pulled it out of the wash. You two have too much time on your hands. You ought to keep an ear to the ground, kid. News like this doesn't find itself. Kind of sad Z doesn't have more to just say. Could use this. A most wise decision. Here you go. Delightful. There we go. All right, uh, took care of that. Now, I think it's time we, uh, well, well, we should go to the Jet Observatory. Or not the Jet Observatory, the Kobo Observatory really quick, just so that we can fight those bounty hunters. Let's go do that. Yeah. When we were fighting Dagnan, those hallucinations, what were they for you? My friends suffering because they followed me. I couldn't do anything to stop it. I saw Kata in her room. Stormtroopers coming for her, breaking down the door. But you know what? That's not going to happen. Yeah. Thanks for being there and having my back. Nice. No. Thank you, brother. We're closer than ever to giving the people we love real safety. Just enjoying this place while I can. I may not see it for a while. All right, you old bat. I'm in. All right, so let's uh let's go downstairs and then teleport. I'm excited at the prospect of more bounty uh, hunters to fight. Uh, let's look now. The Kobo Observatory. Which one is it close to? It is close to. Uh, observatory under structure. Is that it? Yes. Okay. All right. You ready for some battle, folks? Let's do this. Oh, Splinter and Apollo are here now. Hello. Welcome. Okay, that is actually a little bit further away than I thought it was in my head. But that's fine. We just need to head up and out. Okay. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> Where are they? They're just right over here. Can I get the drop on any of them? Yep. Oh. 
Okay. Alrighty. Just him now. Hey, BD. I mean, it's smart of them to be using Mandalorian weaponry, but at the same time, they're not trained, so they don't yeah. really know what they're doing. <laughs> get this back to cage yeah look at that looks like he has rockets on one arm and then flamethrower on the other <gasps> clearly a little bit off brand <laughs> doesn't really have a uh, have a great sense uh, it's very similar to Cad Bane who also wears appropriated Mandalorian gauntlets has a flamethrower and I he might even have a rocket launcher I'm not 100% sure but uh, yeah there's a real difference between a Mandalorian using Mandalorian equipment and then basically anyone else. <laughs> it is not a uh, get out of jail free card at all, especially not versus Jedi. So in in the text, you know, the Mandalorians kind of opposed the Jedi. They, they fought in wars and a lot of their weaponry was designed uh, specifically to counteract the Jedi. You know, flamethrowers can't really be effectively misdirected with the force you can obviously have like a force shield but uh you know lots of tricky traps and, and grappling hooks jet packs it's hey, all adapted so that the mandalorians could fight them uh, a little bit better and so even though others <laughs> obviously try to use that to the best of their ability it's not the same as having you know that level of training with those oh, weapons later, huh? we'll talk soon you cut down the leader of the Bedlam Raiders. That's right. Not one of our targets. What was the payout? There was a payout, right? Tell me you didn't do it for free. He had something I needed. A lot of work. If it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. Killing without a contract? What is this world coming to? Uh... Is she gonna give me another one? Let's just quickly rest and see what she's got to say. Whoa, Monk is actually cooking food. Looks like the kitchen's in use. Uh, Raph says, where's an unhinged recap of the entire Star Wars lore uh, from me? N never. Uh, I consumed almost all of the current canon in Star Wars and I loved it and I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, the idea of making a video essay about Star Wars, like, makes me physically ill. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever want to just talk at length about Star Wars on YouTube. It, that just sounds like a death sentence. Alright, Cage has nothing more for us. So you know what that means. Mantis time, baby. Let's uh, go upstairs and maybe finish planting some stuff in our garden as well. Do we Garden's have any nice other plots? These days, huh, BD? A new specimen? Fascinating. Finish planting it, and I'll tell you what I know. Huh. Gardening. All right. Ready to do some gardening? Medium plot. Okay. We have some more. A new species for the garden. Let's talk to Peely about it. Uh, can I rotate? We'll grow safe here. <clears throat> you clearly have a talent for this, Cal. Thanks. Bree's taught me a little. How long have you been gardening? 
since I was a child. I've always enjoyed the company of plants. In my adolescence, I joined a well-respected nursery. My work became a passion, and I soon stumbled upon an innovation. What was it? Hybridizing diverse genotypical specimens with novel macrocosmetic environments. A mouthful, yes. I mean that I developed a talent for growing new plants in new places. Well, these specimens are lucky to have you here. That's what they tell me. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out exactly Your like what rise to new life. the requirement is for unlocking more plots. Here looks good. Which do we want? There we go. We'll just plant more diverse species, I guess. Uh, Bruce says when you fill one more unlock, well, all of these are fully filled. <laughs> so I, I, that's why I'm curious. Because <laughs> I have all of them unlocked currently. Or I have all of them completely full. Our garden's almost full, buddy. You've introduced a new species. After you plant it, I'll provide more detail. Peely, what made you stop your research? I lost my lab. Once the Empire occupied my planet, it seized my nursery, uprooting every flower, fern, and sapling. That's horrible. Worse, they repurposed my lab into a biochemical weapons facility. All my research now used as a means for death. I refused to cooperate, escaped on an unlicensed shuttle, and here I am. Well, you're safe here. I have been told that before. But when you say it, I believe it, Cal. So Bruce says, go away for a while until they grow, and then more will unlock. Well, I mean, that's what I did. Everything was fully grown, and it was full. So I think I, it needs to be a more diverse set of things to plant, I think. All right, time for Jetta. Let's do this. It's the let's, only thing we have left to, to do right now. Bound for Jetta. You think Cordova can repair that compass? Oh, I bet credits he can. You have credits to bet? What's that supposed to mean? Tantalor. We're so close now. I'm excited to see Tantalor. Oh, me too. But just don't go starting a witch school or something. And definitely don't invite those creepy sisters of yours. But they're here now, <laughs> All around you. I just sensed something, Grease. Did you feel that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ready, Cal? We're almost there. I love how much Cal and Marin bully Grease is great. All right. I wonder what's you coming? I'll be in later. I just gotta run another diagnostic on the manid. Uh, it'd be a shame if we blow another gyro and get stuck <laughs> in the abyss. Well, come on, why'd you have to say that? You jinxed us. Oh, this is just great. You think Mara's got any magic tricks that'll ward off bad luck? Probably, honestly. Alright, uh, I guess it's time to just move forward. Cage doesn't have any bounties for us. We can't really do anything else, so it's it's really just main quest at this point. Unless we want to just hunt down map relics, but I don't really feel like doing that at the moment. We've done enough of that for the past few days. Normally I can shake these things, but I keep thinking about Coruscant. I try not to. I get that. For some reason, Gabs keeps popping into my head. Hardly knew me. Still gave me a hard time. <laughs> yeah. I miss her. Yeah. Only good inquisitors. Well, you know. <laughs> Look at me, turning things dark again. Sorry. Good luck. So, about what happened on the Mesa? The Empire will think twice before sending another trident to Jedha. Well, I was actually, um... <laughs> I know what you were asking, Cal. My sisters taught me that to discuss a spell is to unravel it. 
So let us let this one lie. For now. Fair enough. <laughs> we'll talk more later. Marin being like, we can't talk about us making out because uh, a magician never reveals their secrets. <laughs> uh. Splinter says, oh, did I miss them smooching? Yeah, they have a they have a really great uh, kiss scene uh, way earlier in the game. Like, it's honestly, it might be a better romantic moment in Star Wars than uh, Han Solo's I Know. Like, I was very pleased with it. I really liked how it landed. Master Cordova. Dag and Gera had the last compass, but it's damaged. They didn't exactly hand it over. This can be repaired. I'll begin at once. BD. Let's give Master Cordova some time to concentrate. I know a place with a view. Good. You know, it's kind of heavy if anybody wanted to give me a hand. Of course, Green. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, ha ha, very funny. <laughs> oh. Okay, here you go, round two. What do you think? It's strong. It's very sweet. You'll get used to it. <clears throat> you see her. Why don't you join us on Tantalor? There's no better home for the Archive or the Hidden Path. Whatever the future holds, we can face it together. Yes. It's a new path for all of us. Cal, Master T'Pol would be proud of the Jedi you've become. I had a good teacher. I really Everyone? like their evolving relationship. The hidden path has found a new home. To Tantalor. To Tantalor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Seer. Does that mean you're coming? Yes, Grease. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to go and prepare the archive for relocation. Well, it's getting late. I'll go with you. Say, where is the Manus in there? This place is terrifying at night. I will escort you. Oh, great. But hey. Oh, that creepy stuff, okay? Seer, are the Anchorage really coming with us? Of course, yes. Wow, our family's growing with a boatload of creepy aunts and uncles. <laughs> Something feels too good about this. I'm like a little nervous about it. We did it, Boat. Yeah. The compass is going to be good as new. Something's bothering you. Ah, you know me too well, Scrapper. I was thinking about Kata. And people looking after her, but... It's always a bit tough when I come back. When she sees what you've done for her, she'll understand. I hope so. I was thinking maybe we should go to ten more first. Just make sure it's safe before the others join. Mm, the sooner we get the hidden path set up there, the better. Gotta stay one step ahead of the Empire, right? Yeah. Hey. Tomorrow we're gonna have a new home. Couldn't have done that without you, Boat. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I love when Bode calls Cal brother. <laughs> I'm uh, <clears throat> gonna go record a bedtime story for Kata. I don't think you are. If you double cross me, I swear to God. I swear to God, Bode.
I should trust him. Male companionship. What a view, huh? Desert at night seems to stretch on forever. Hmm. And there's beauty and emptiness. Now you sound like a Jedi. You got a few things right. <laughs> Not everything. Look, um, the order's gone. Look at this hand. Time to leave it behind. And I know what I want now. Took you long enough. Yes. <laughs> Make beautiful babies. Give me them. I need to see what your children look like. They're going to grow up to be so beautiful. God, can you imagine? What a power couple. I need to see what these two are going to get up to. They're going to save the galaxy on their own. Damn. That's, that's good. That's good stuff. Uh, I was very against the Marin and Cal romance, but I really like the way that it plays out. Uh, one thing I wanted to, to note earlier, uh, Han Solo's courtship of Leia has a lot of sexual harassment, yes. However, I do think the I love you, I know scene is very romantic and great in the moment. Uh... And I think Star Wars has never lived up to that, like, moment itself, up, romantically speaking, up until this game. This game, I think, gets over that. Unproblematic relationship. Splinter says, what do you mean? I hate sand didn't live up to I love you. No, it did not. I'm sorry. Had to move. Boat man. What was it like to reunite with Master Cordova after all these years? Terrifying. Not the response <laughs> I expected. Remember that he disappeared without a trace not long after his premonition that the order would fall. He always feared that he had died. Yes. Then one day, he simply walks into my archive, alive and whole. For a moment, I felt like a Padawan again. Ashamed that we hadn't completed his plan to rebuild the Order. And I didn't know how he would react to our decision to destroy the Holocron. How did he react? As a master should. With questions, trust, and understanding. <laughs> I'm very glad he found his way back to us. Stay alert. Jedi is dangerous. Let's talk in a bit, Cal. How's it coming? See for yourself. Master Cordova. He did it. Imperial forces coming in from all sides. They found us. Get your people out. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Oh, yep. Oh. I'm really sorry about this. Oh. Son. Son, you don't have to do this. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh. Treachery. After repairing the Abyss Compass, Cordova is murdered by Boda Kuna, who takes the compass as he betrays them all. Yeah, 
I knew it was gonna happen. I'm a little bit depressed about it, but we all saw it coming. And he's on the speeder. Check off speeder bike. Boat! Boat! We can finally use it. It is kind of weird that they kill off Cordova right after we meet him. <laughs> he didn't really get too much development. Now this is pod racing. Ties. Oh dear. So... I mean, I understand why Bode is doing this, like, thematically speaking, right? He wants to secure something for Kata, but I guess the question is, did the Empire already have her? Stormtroopers. Oh boy. Haley says, uh, our archives are not nearly as armed as the rebels on Hoth. Indeed, these are largely pacifists. So this is gonna be bad. Come on, bud. together and you're just gonna hand it to the Empire I'm not giving it to the Empire you killed Master Cordova Cal you don't have time for this fight something terrible is coming for that archive listen to your instincts you know I'm right what have you done if you want to keep your family safe you get them out of there right now what have you done ah! What? You can't be. You're not the only one who survived. What? <laughs> okay. reticle is still on him in the cutscene. <laughs> Respawn? Oh, okay. That uh, We got a unique death animation? 
or, or were we supposed to fail that fight? Four Estes. Oh no. Oh, she has a single bladed saber throw. Okay. I'm not sure what we're like meant to do here. see or die they're gonna have to uh they're gonna have to be able to actually kill me <laughs> which i don't know if they're gonna be able to do oh i shouldn't have wasted that oops is attacking the main gate. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I am shocked. I cannot imagine what is happening. I can't... I... What? <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't imagine Cal is gone for good. Let's look journey stop the assault we have no hollow map we don't have access to everything stand back we have to hold the hangar until evacuations are complete we'll have Why to see the base defense is active something's wrong oh she is so much stronger than cal Where are we going? Can I? Am I not supposed to go up here? I have to, oh, I have to go this way. Okay. Fascinating. What the hell is going on? I am very curious. Where do we need to go? Why isn't it like letting me do stuff? Danger approaches here. I'm confused. Not this way. Oh, we probably needed to wait for. Yeah, we needed them to get out of the doorway. Gotcha. Have you seen Cal? No. But BD was with the Mantis. They're evacuating those they can. Look! Walkers! They cannot breach the main gate. Huh. <sighs> Yeah. 
I am fascinated. Indigo Saber reads as true blue to you? Yeah, this is cool. Oh man. My, my only theory here is that when Cal, uh, when Cal said, it's time to leave the order behind, I think Cal gave up the Jedi. So I'm gonna hold out hope in my heart that Cal Kestis is still alive. Oh, that's not where we're supposed to go. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, I see. Oh, weird. What is going on? <laughs> I am I am genuinely just stunned by the course of events. Where do we need to go? Up here? Nope, 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 nope. What are we doing here? Do I need to push this? Nope. Oh, it just wasn't letting me. Interesting. Now what? There's more munitions on the second level. All right. Uh, I guess that guy's just uh, kind of glitchy. This is wild. It's cool that Seer built another lightsaber as an aside, because in Fallen Order she gives hers up. <laughs> He's just a cosmetic jump trooper, exactly. for it. The walkers will breach the perimeter soon. That will slow them down. Master Junga, the Empire has breached the tunnel. Marin, can you... Of course. Uh, what a interesting series of developments uh also for all the new people here hello bask uh hello baz i think i saw you you there seven baz uh hello apollo um how do i get up there there we go man this section's a little glitchy This is giving my heart more of a workout than the like 45 minutes of cardio I did earlier. <laughs> oh, jeez. So many have died. And many more will die if we do not secure the hangar. He would want us to salvage what we can of the archive. And the contact codes. We cannot fall into the Empire's hands. No matter the They're opening the gate. 
The Mantis. She's got Devil May Cry combos. Stop iframing through my attacks. Jeez. I cannot believe that Bode is a Jedi, or was a Jedi. I think he's the titular Jedi survivor. A moment to focus. All right. Man, Seer is so cool. I like her lightsaber, it's just so simple, elegant. Come on, Marin. You too. Breeze, do you hear me? Dear, what a nice surprise. Stay in the mantis until we secure the hangar. Copy that. Good luck out there. Bruce says, did you notice he was using Dagon's lightsaber? Remember he stuck around after you beat him? Yes, I did, and I noted that. Uh, when I when I saw him there, I was like, why are you sticking around? There's literally zero reason for you to be here. So I, I knew he was going to do something. Push them back. Don't die here, Marin. Please, we like you. No one's coming out of it. You fought well. They're here. I can hold them back. Two more of them. Then we must turn this to our advantage. It's funny hearing these like nice people calling them impudent. <laughs> what do we need to do? What are you waiting for? What am I what am I waiting for? I don't know what you're talking about. What am I supposed to do? going on <laughs> they're like stuck out there and I don't know what we're supposed to do to fight them do we just need to let them come in a little bit I'll, I'll fight it uh, 
I'm waiting for them to come in so I can attack them. This is a very strange fight. I'm supposed to be able to force pull part of the environment? Uh, huh. I, yeah, I definitely can't. There we go. Oh, it's not highlighted. Gotcha. Join you. No. Marin, I need you to stay here and defend the Mantis. BD, go with her. Keep the engine warm, Breeze. It won't be long. Be seer. You hurry back. You got this. Thank you, Grease. Bruce says, I think he has highlights turned off. I mean, I could just see them there. Yeah, like, I don't have highlights turned off. It's just glitched. See? It's not. <laughs> Weird. Interesting. Yeah, it's not. I can't do nothing with that. So it was just glitched. I mean, this section is, is just seemingly a little glitchy. So, uh, wow. Holy smokes. All right, uh, before we head out, I am going to <laughs> take a moment to catch my breath. Holy smokes. So much just happened. We get to play as Seer. We had to fight off the Empire. That's nuts.